Good evening, everybody. I'm going to start with a couple of assignments here uh, just to make the computations a little less messy. We'll go ahead and call uh, capital A 6 to the 4th power plus 1 fifth. And you can probably see why I'm doing this. Uh, the difference of the two squares result or multiplying through by the conjugate is going to come in super handy here. Uh, let's do B equals to 6 to the 4th minus 1 fifth. Now notice that both of these numbers are approximately, uh, you know, both of these values I'll just write at one time are approximately 6 to the 4th power. All right. And do notice that if, if the 5ths weren't there, you'd be dividing by 0. So we're dividing through by a pretty small number, so you'd anticipate a larger number. All right, so what we're going to do right here is just, again, uh, the beginning problem, uh, this problem right here that we're trying to find the integer which it's closest to, uh, is this form right here. And we multiply through by the difference, uh, by the conjugate of the denominator, which exploits the difference of two squares formula. Okay, and you know, I like the radical notation. A lot of you may prefer the rational exponent notation. But notice when we get to this position, we're again in a position to multiply through by the uh, conjugate. All right, and it ends up working out rather nicely. Um, uh, this this isn't as bad as it looks. A lot of people prefer the notation a to the three fourths and so on, but I, to me, keeping the radical notation is just fine. All right, um, now, so what we're going to do at this point to simplify matters is note um, that both the fourth root of a, uh, we're going to approximate that by 6. Okay, that's no surprise. All right, and then also the fourth root of b, we can approximate by 6. Now, I'm, I'll be the first to say this isn't rigorous, but they're very close, right? 6 to the fourth is a huge number compared to 1 fifth. Likewise, over here, we're 6 to the fourth minus 1 fifth. So we're approximating both fourth roots. Um, uh, sorry, this is b. My bad. Let me erase that. Okay, so this will be uh, the fourth root of b is also the approximation will be uh, 6. And you can see, folks, that's exactly what I've done down here. Okay, uh, you can look right in here and, and just see how things are working out. The fourth root of it is 6, and so 6 cubed is 6 cubed right here, right? So, uh, and all the way across. Uh, and again, the, the, everything inside is, is approximated by 6. And so this is what we get right here, folks. Now notice this top part is just really 4 times 6 cubed. So really you have 4 times uh, 6 cubed um, divided by 2 fifths. You know, it's clear where the 2 fifths comes from. Uh, the 1 fifth, uh, 1 fifth minus 1 fifth is 2 fifths, right? So that's what's happening there. And then uh, what we have here would just be, if you want to do the calculations, this would be the very same thing as 5 times uh, 4 times 6 cubed. I could have just called that 20, couldn't I? Okay, times 6 cubed uh, divided by 2. All right, folks, and that's pretty easy to see right here. This would actually be 10 times 6 cubed, but 6 cubed is 216. So you see we get 2160 as an approximation by making uh, this um, approximation for the fourth root of each of the quantities. Okay, so that does it, folks. Again, I'm not claiming it's rigorous. Uh, about all I can say that we know about this thing is that um, the... The floor of this expression could be uh, 2159 or 2160. There's nothing I've done or shown that would indicate which what 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 the floor would actually be of this expression. Okay, so but anyway, 2160 would be is definitely the decimal. And again, I'm waving my hand slightly, but I hope that you guys trust it. That's what I got. Closest integer to this value right here. Thank you for viewing.